All right, Roman back here with the gear review. I'm gonna be talking about the interface that I've landed on. I'm using the RME UFX. It's a great interface. I can talk to you about some of the interfaces that I've had in the past and the reason that I've switched over to this one. Things that I do like about it, things that I don't like about it. All right, so let's get into the RME. RME has a great reputation for making amazing drivers, solid interfaces. It's manufactured in Germany, as far as I know. The build quality is awesome. I've had a couple of really nice interfaces in the past. Back in the day, I had the Mbox Pro when it came out, Mbox 3 Pro. And I've had the Rosetta 200 converters, which still to this day, I love those things. I switched over to an Apogee Ensemble Thunderbolt, which was also an amazing interface. I've had the uh, the Focusrite, the i8. 1920 I believe it's called but I ended up landing on RME so let me tell you a couple of things that I do and don't like about it the things that I really do like about it it always works I've never had any problems with it not connecting this sound is incredible there's absolutely nothing bad you can say about the sound if you're thinking about going the RME route I can absolutely assure you that you're gonna be happy it's something that you won't be disappointed in the couple of times that I've had to call customer service they've been very responsive and easy to get a hold of with that being said the interfaces are not cheap there's a lot of great other interfaces that are very affordable that are going to give you a great sound that are a lot cheaper than this one but if you're already going down the path and you want to invest into some high-end audio gear then rme is definitely a great option if you get the arc usb controller you can control everything from here which i find really nice because now i can just kind of have the interface out of reach i don't need to be able to access it and it for it to be within arm's reach to be able to control the main speaker outs, headphone outs, you can mute the speakers, you can mute the headphones, you can A, B between different speakers, you can control line levels, you can switch between mic and line, or basically between instrument and mic. So you can really customize this however you want to use it, whatever is gonna work best for you, everything's assignable, so you can really customize this piece right here. As most people know, RME comes with Total Mix which is this right here. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that. Super powerful. It does take a little bit to figure out. It can kind of have some crazy routing and there's all, it's so powerful that it just really takes some time to learn and get into it. Again, if you're doing something more simple and don't need a bunch of routing options and don't need a bunch of inputs that you're gonna be tr changing and switching things, then maybe this is not the way to go. Something with a little bit of a simpler interface but if you want the ability to route and change everything, then RME is the way to go because Total Mix is super powerful. So they've definitely knocked it out of the park with that. I would say if there's any cons about the interface, the only thing that I'm like not super thrilled about, and maybe that's just because of the other interfaces that I've had in the past, is the screen on the interface is really small. So it's basically like if you even want to look over at it and see what's going on, the bars and the lines are so tiny. With that being said, I've kind of learned to just kind of forget about what's going on on the screen over here and just really focus on my DAW. It also has DigiCheck, which shows a lot of different gain levels. So everything now is on the screen rather than looking at actually what's going on over here. And also if you want to pull up Total Mix, you can totally pull that up and you can see what's going on with it here. So yeah, as far as comparing it side by side in terms of quality, the converters, as far as the sound goes, so like I said, I've had the Apogee is probably the, the only other one that is comparable with this one. And I've also worked in a studio that uh, only uses Apollo gear. And uh, for time I was considering Apollo, but I know that they focus a lot of their interfaces on the DSP, which I don't really, I never used it even when I was there recording with that interface all the time. I really don't ever remember using any of the DSP even once. And maybe that's a fault of mine, I don't know. But when I was deciding to invest into a higher quality interface, I decided not to go that route. The Apollos are so expensive and a lot of it is due to the power of the DSP, which is great for those that are using it. But for me personally, it's not something that I ever used. So with that being said, I decided to go this route. I can also tell you that I've worked on a bit of gear in the past. So I've opened stuff up. I like to open up all my gear and comparing it to a lot of the other interfaces, even in this class range, you can tell that what they're doing inside the RME is, is really, really nice. They use great components and they really put a lot into this interface. Definitely a very nice piece of gear. So again, yeah, I would say if you're thinking about going with the RME and uh, it suits what you need, as far as conversion and stuff, you don't even have to think about that because the converters are incredible. Everything sounds really good.
So yeah, that's my thought on the RME UFX. If you're thinking about upgrading or going down this path, you're not gonna regret it. It's an amazing product, high caliber for sure. There's a lot of amazing, great interfaces out there that are much more affordable, but if you're looking for something a little bit higher caliber, this is gonna be a great way to go. I'm not gonna get too deep into the total mix and all of that and how it works. I just wanted to cover some of the basics on the interface, how it works, the conversion, how it integrates with the DOM, the computer, everything communicates very well. Again, I've never had any problems with it so far. So hopefully I've helped someone along their path trying to decide or which way you're going or if I've answered a couple questions. Please feel free to drop some comments or questions down below. I would love to chat. Shalom.